The formula for the lateral area of a cone looks like this. Lateral area is equal to pi r s. r is the radius of the circle that is found at one end of the cone, and s is the slant height, this diagonal length here. If we are given the radius and the slant height and asked for the lateral area as we are in this example, all we have to do is plug in our numbers and simplify. AL is our unknown. Pi is 3.14 for these examples. R is 5. And S is 12. Simplifying, 5 times 12 is 60, so we have pi times 60, and pi times 60 is 188.4. So the lateral area of this cone is 188.4. Because we were working with centimeters for our distances, the unit for area will be centimeters squared. The area of this cone is 188.4 centimeters squared. What if we are given the lateral area and the radius, but we are asked for the slant height? Again, this is a matter of plugging the values into the formula and simplifying. Let's try it. The lateral area is 785 millimeters squared, so 785 goes in the AL position. Pi is 3.14. R is 10. And the slant height is the unknown, so I will use the S as a variable. First thing I'm doing is 10 times 3.14, which is 31.4. And the S is still there. Now if I divide both sides by 31.4, these cancel. My S is isolated. And 785 divided by 31.4 is 25. Since the unit of measure was the millimeter squared in the millimeter, and slant height is a distance, the unit of measure for this answer will be millimeters. And now, here is an example where we are given the lateral area, 43.96 meters squared, and the slant height, 7 meters, and we are asked for the radius. Again, this is a matter of plugging the values into the formula and simplifying. AL is replaced by 43.96. Pi is 3.14. R is my unknown. And S is 7. The first thing I'm going to do is 7 times 3.14, which is 21.98, and the R is still there. Now, if we divide both sides by 21.98, these cancel, my R is isolated and is equal to 43.96 divided by 21.98, which is 2. Because the unit of measure for the area was meters squared, the unit of measure for distance like radius is meters, so we have 2 meters as our answer. In this example, there's an extra step. We are asked for the lateral area of the cone. We are given the slant height, but we are not given the radius. We are given the diameter. 8 centimeters is the diameter. Since we need the radius for this formula, we have to do the extra step of using the simple formula diameter is equal to 2 times radius. If diameter is 8, 8 is equal to 2r, divide both sides by 2, r is isolated, and the radius is equal to 4. Since we were dealing with centimeters, the radius is 4 centimeters. Now we can plug the radius and the slant height and pi into the lateral area of a cone formula and simplify to find our lateral area. Radius is 4, 
slant height is 10. 4 times 10 is 40. Lateral area is 40 times 3.14, which is 125.6. Unit of measure was centimeters, but area as unit of measure will be centimeters squared. Lateral area of this cone is 125.6 centimeters squared.